In a park in the capital, Ankara, they're singing old leftist ballads. Young and older, they all know the words, but that doesn't mean they want their protest to be categorized as left-wing. It is not provoked by the political parties. Please try to describe this moment in its correct terms. It is opposition of the citizens. Opposition especially to what they say is the aggression of the police and authorities who are insisting they take their tents down. They argue back, but don't want a return of the tear gas and water cannons. While the Turkish government has labelled these protests a creation of foreign hands and terrorists, on the ground the picture is very different. There's almost every political and apolitical group in Turkey on the streets, bypassing regular Turkish politics entirely. This university researcher knows a little more about why. She's conducted an online poll of 3,000 of the protesters in Istanbul's Gezi Park, finding that 70% did not feel close to any political party. When asked how they described themselves, they gave the strongest ranking to pro-freedom. These protesters almost universally feel the government's attacking their democratic rights. Most describe themselves as liberals, which is not the name of a political party in Turkey. Established opposition parties admit they have lessons to learn. From now on we have to take better notice of the demands for democracy and freedom. We have to read the demands of the new generation better. We've done more opposition over the past week than all the opposition parties did in the last 10 years. While the Turkish government sees hooligans and vandals, these protesters see old-style authoritarianism and paternalism in all branches of Turkish politics. And they're finally speaking out to say, we want something different. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Ankara.